I got a lot of videos to make today, but this one is most likely important too. Now, I waited a few days to see if there was going to be more tweets from Sam before I even made a video about this, but there probably is, and I saw some someone else making a video about uh, her retracting the word pedophile, but has yet to delete that tweet for, for like an obvious reason. So I'm going to read this. Grooming pedophilia Carson situation. I can personally come out and say that I've been groomed by Carson at I have talked to many people and never came out about this since now. At the time, I was still 17 and in high school. I jokingly tweet at Carson, be my boyfriend, on my old account. He didn't reply to the tweet and went straight to my DMs. I don't have old screenshots, but I have Discord messages. Here's a few things that he has said to me. I think there's one more. And then she tweets out more messages. By the way, I'm not going to read them all. I'm just showing you guys all of these. I don't have time to read them all. It's a busy day. I have to get to work and I have to make a video to the final episode of Jeopardy tomorrow evening. So like I gotta like get this out there right now without having to waste my time reading shit like this. Alrighty, here's another one. And one more, which I can't read that. I can't read that well, but uh, yeah. And then she tweets his account ID with my messages in the back, which basically shows you know his account ID, obviously. And then another message that she tweeted. No new photography, so I do not care. I only care about nude bodies. Nudies are no no. Stop. J I D H F. Then she tweeted screen recordings on phone of our messages. Alrighty, so here's the screen recording of her phone, of her messages with Carson.
can probably pause this video to read some of the messages yourself, or you can go to the Twitter account directly. And then I think she tweeted this to anyone who experiences this. I'm hurting so much for all of you. No one deserves this. I'm here to talk. Thank you all. Then she tweet more evidence later on saying, sorry for shaky hands. Some of you wanted to see more proof. So here's me showing our messages in a phone vid, not screen recording. Oh, and she brought up grooming. How oh, fuck though. Thoughtful of her to do. I was actually gonna bring it up in a much clearer light because, of course, you know. Now we have this tweet, which shows a screenshot of uh, of the federal law, section 2256 of Title 18, United States Code. And then, of course, something strange happened after that, which I'll also get to shortly. So this is what she tweeted at 1.08 p.m. on January 5th, 2021. It is now Thursday, January 7th, 2021 at 3.34 p.m. I'm going to take you to a Keemstar video where Keemstar announced that Carson is not a pedo. Hey guys, um, since I broke this story with Carson, I, I feel it's kind of my responsibility to, uh, to talk further on it and uh, talk to, I guess, the mob that's out there. There are a lot of people out there, um, you know, calling Carson a pedophile, calling him a pedo and cracking jokes. And, you know, that's just kind of the way the Internet is. But I think it's my responsibility to speak on this based on the evidence that I have seen. Carson is not a pedophile. Carson is not into little kids. And the scenario that's been put forth that I've seen and the allegations that I've seen there was a situation where Carson was 19, the girl was 17. I seen this other situation, which I, I don't even know if this is even remotely true yet. I have to look at it deeper, but the girl was 16, Carson was 19. And another scenario where Carson was 20 and the girl was 17. In all three of these scenarios, and again, I don't know if any of them are true, Carson wouldn't be a pedophile. This is like a Romeo and Julia uh, type of thing. They're only a couple years apart from each other. The problem in these scenarios is that according to Carson himself and the post that he made on his Discord, he exchanged nudes with people that are under the age of 18. And when you do that, that is a crime. That is a fucking, you're sending child porn, you're receiving child porn. That is a felony. That is a fucking crime. You can't do that shit. See, also, people talk about the power dynamic, and, you know, there's a lot of debate around that. I agree. Like, you know, if you're a YouTuber and you have fans that look up to you and they'll do anything for you, and then you go to those underage fans and start soliciting nudes, no matter how old you are, where it's like, you know, when you're soliciting the nudes, it's a crime. I think that's a fucked up situation, right? So I want to be very clear that Carson is messed up a lot of stuff. He messed up a lot of people's careers. Everybody in Lunch Club, Kate, Fitz, 
Carson's, Carson's done some bad, but is he a pedo? No, there's no evidence that suggests that. So, And this is what she says. After watching Team's new video, I realized I was in the wrong for calling Carson a pedophile. I used the word in the wrong context and would like to apologize. I'm sorry if I offended or hurt anyone by using the word incorrectly. This still doesn't justify his actions, so I deeply apologize. Well, well, this is one of those things that you should never do, folks. If you're gonna immediately label somebody for doing pedophilia things about having legitimate proof, whether or not it, it's a pedophilia things. Then uh, you're kind of being a wacko at this point. So you shouldn't label the tweet to somebody that you met. By putting the word pedophile or pedophilia in it. And I can say the word pedophilia because I'm not a sissy. That is monetized. No offense to anyone else. But I do have a problem with people who just label somebody as a pedophile right away when they are not even a pedo. Now, here are my thoughts on this. Even though some people are on her side, some people are are like are like on Carson's side because this girl could be lying. Now that she admitted that she was wrong for using the word incorrectly, which I suggest if you're gonna make accusation statements like this, at least look up the word before you uh, actually confirmed if it was pe pedophilia or not, or, or not. Because he actually confirmed that if it, if it was pedophilia that you received and experienced by that one person that you met, online at least, then you need to actually have the actual proof behind it. But since Keemstar says that it's not pedo, pedo, pedo that, that Carson is not a pedo, <laughs> there was no reason for you to make that kind of a tweet. Now is it? Because that tweet, when you put the word pedo, is just completely out of whack and misconstrued. It was misconstrued of you to put the word pedophilia in there when it's not really pedophilia. Just a thought. I mean, come on. It happened with the other situation from from November to December with the pyrocynical situation and somebody named Ivy Erasmus used the word grooming in a wrong sense because it wasn't really grooming. Yes, Pyro Cynical did dumb shit, but he owned up to it and apologized. But that's but that doesn't excuse the victim's actions for 
not trying to look up the words on the internet before they rushed a statement out there just to get it to like let it all out without taking taking more time spending more time on the internet to really research the words and what they are just before you spew up information this quickly which Sam did and I'm not hating for for it I'm proud of her for speaking speak, for speaking out I'm proud of her for that but when you rush some some of these words like pedophilia without having to actually research the word first before you make an exception of then you you kind of have to like like for now on research the words that you're gonna say if you're into another situa situation like this in the near future the fact that she came out too early without having to do her research kind of surprised me but you know at the end of the day she came out okay and I guess seeing she hasn't tweet tweet a lot more of this since uh her previous tweet but you know still I think it was extremely irresponsible that she would have to immediately label Carson as a pedophile immediately. I'm glad she apologized too. I'm glad she apologized. I have nothing against her. Now she says that child porn is illegal. And she brought, brings up this this law, I guess, from New Jersey, where she lives. But to be fair, Carson is in Indiana, the state where he lives. New Jersey has a section law that pertains to minors. If caught, minors can avoid prosecution under the New Jersey endangering welfare children law and would be required to attend the state sponsored educational program geared to, towards educating minors about the dangers of sexting. Only teenagers under the age of 18 are eligible for this program and only first time events will be benefit from the educational program. So subsequent acts may be diverted or referred to court action depending on the situation. Well, yeah, one of these tweets, like this person says, I know you live in NJ, but this was interstate since Carson lived in Indiana at the time. To my knowledge, federal laws would apply, right? I don't know if this overrides NJ laws, though, or if it can be prosecuted under federal laws. Anyways, it sounds smart than me clarify. Yeah, the relationship was legal, but the federal would be involved because, regardless of state, any cognitive interests of someone under 18 as the child horn. One person says that he has the federal police already called on him back all the way in 2019 and 2020 and nothing happened. I think that says enough about this situation and if he did anything wrong illegally. And you know, it, you know, this person might be, might be right. 
but the only person who has to explain is Call Me Carson. And if everything is actually true, um, then sure, Carson might admit that. He might admit that what he did was wrong. But he also might come to his defense and say that it wasn't illegal. So, all I can say here is that we need a video from Call Me Carson as soon as, um, probably, maybe after Biden gets sworn in. I think now give Call Me Carson a lot more time to actually respond by by the time the Biden inauguration commence and we can all be relaxed in our jammies and doing what we do best. I think I have enough of information of what I need from Twitter because of the fact that everything continues to unfold. And uh, as of recording, Call Me Carson has not addressed on YouTube or Twitter yet. So I would assume that Call Me Carson will take a couple more weeks, which is prior to the, the Biden inauguration day, to commence. And that is when he will probably respond. If he doesn't respond by the Biden inauguration date, then he will have to respond by February 1st, which is Black History Month. So, again, we have to wait for Colin Harrison to make his response. But, yeah. That girl should really be, be more extremely careful on how to use these words, because... I know. I just don't like people who cannot take their time to do their research before they just immediately come out with, with their statement, you know? I don't think these victims know how to, like, take a breather, take lots of time before they actually come out with this. Because at this point, it's just a he said, she said moment, and... I don't tend to believe that Carson did any of these things as of yet, because he still has not responded. So until then, he actually makes a response, a response video. Everyone can stop making videos about it too. And, which has been going on in the past few days. Everyone keeps making videos about it. And they have not yet to wait for Carson, which is why I think, which is why I predicted that he will be responding right around inauguration day or by February 1st. So yeah, that's about it. I just want to put this out there because it's kind of shady of her to do. But also, it's kind of shady of Carson to do what he did, even though it's not technically, you know, because of the age of consent laws. 